I know that my body's got a disability and I know the legs don't work, but my brain does work. It's cerebral palsy where your muscles just get tight. I've got a wheelchair. That's my way of getting around. Because they see me in a chair, they think I'm not going to do it, but I can prove them wrong. It's called Disability Legion. That's why I'm writing this book, to make people are more aware of what disability illusion is. And stop treating people who have got a disability like a disability. Ask, you gotta ask the person involved. If you can't just assume what the person wants. I've done um, paintball, it's very painful. Um, you get bruises, but the bruises go away. I've done parasailing. I was very happy to do that because I've never done that before. And this is what people need to be aware of. They can do it too. Skydiving from 10,000 feet. I came down with somebody else. He was filming and watching me and it was the best day of my life. It's a sample of not having a disability. My chair was nowhere to be seen. A couple of weeks ago, I wanted to do scuba diving. So that's going to happen as well. Don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. I've started looking into it, see what the pros and cons are. See, this is what people should be doing. So that's a challenge I'm looking forward to. I work, it's called The Big Issue, my own business. You leave home at 7.30 in the morning. And you go into work, pick up some books. You have permanent spot in the city. I didn't know the city from a bar of soap, but in the last three years I have, because I've had to navigate myself in the sea and that's not easy. The big issue has changed my life because I never knew I'd turn around and, and work on the streets. All these years that I, I've been packaging, this is the best job of my life. The decision making team made that happen to help me make decisions and it has helped big time, as I wouldn't have a business, would I? That was driven by me because I had to make that decision. Sing the song, We Are The Power From <laughs> I was on the bus one day, coming back from football, from Amy Stadium, and a bus turned the corner sharply, and a wheelchair tipped over. I've never seen that happen before, so that was a way out call to me. And I'm trying to fight for the state government to put belts in for wheelchair users. I've written to the opposition leader and I've also contacted Kelly Vinson. It's law and taxis, but it's sort of not law and buses. And that's the bit I want people to be aware of. I've got this good attitude, nothing will stop us. Just go and try it. Because some of these people, they don't look outside the box. And that's the way I want people to think. <laughs>